Already in on the text this morning uh, is Chaz. He says, I was watching the remembrance service on Sunday and noticed that Gordon Brown, when laying the wreath, did not bow his head. Shows just how much respect he has for our troops. Disgusting. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, your thoughts on that or anything else uh, you've seen in the news, please. 0776 200 957 315444. On the phones this morning, it's your show for Peterborough. And now, our very own Greeniversity is launched in the city this week, set up by Peterborough Environment City Trust. It'll offer city residents a range of green courses from beekeeping to cider making. Oh, yeah. And it's all for free. Nari Ambarchin and Karen Lawrence are from Peck. Morning, guys. How you doing? Hello. Uh, cider making, uh, beekeeping. Uh, we've talked about this before. In fact, um, we came up with a name, I you believe. Did. Well, our your listeners, listeners did. did. Yeah, yes. yeah. It was going to be um, called Sustainable Learning Hub, but luckily your listeners stepped in and called it Green University instead. The <laughs> beauty of our listeners, you see, that would have been a heck of a mouthful to keep repeating. Yes, it was Jane, it was. Jane in the Orton's actually. Well done to Jane, who came up with Green University. Has she been uh, financially reimbursed? Um, no, we're just going to say thank you, thank you, thank you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you, you were given a, a load of cash, uh, yeah. and you had to use it in this way, and uh, it, you, you have teachers now, do you, in place? That yeah, the idea of Green University is that it will sort of teach um, green skills to local people, and when we say green skills, it's quite broad, it's anything that's all will improve your quality of life, get you healthier and reduce your carbon footprint. So like you said, beekeeping, but also making your own clothes or knitting, cooking using healthy food, growing your own food, that kind of thing. Um, and the twist with Green University is that it's local people that are the teachers um, as well as the students. So we've got people with the green skill to sign up and then other people can go along and learn from them. So it's a real community project, Karen, where yeah. we're all helping each other, if you like. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that's the great thing about Green University is anyone's going to be able to share a skill that they've got or if there's a skill that they think they'd like to learn, they can just sign up and find someone that will teach them anything they've wanted to know that's green, really. Yeah, and, and are you still looking for teachers as well, if, if, if people think they've got a skill listening this morning that they can pass on? Yes, please. We're looking for teachers to get in touch with us, and you can get in touch via the website, which is greenuniversity.org.uk. Um, and Steve wants to do a urban foraging course, so we Does need he? an urban forager. <laughs> so if you know how to spot edible berries and mushrooms, we yeah. need you. <laughs> Oat for free, and he's in. Oat for free, eh? as my mum used to say. Uh, just remind us where the cash came from for all of this. It came from the government. It's all part of a campaign to um, get adults learning informally. So learning for fun, so getting people back into learning, but not for a qualification necessarily, just to enjoy it. Yeah, so I mentioned beekeeping, cider making. Steve wants to do foraging. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what other things have you got to offer people at the moment? We've got um, bell ringing, dry stone walling. Dry stone walling? Yeah. What, in Peterborough? In Peterborough. <laughs> uh, we've got yeah, it's fine in Yorkshire, you know. <laughs> I, I mean, obviously, every time I go home, I, I, I have a refresher course. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Joe Sugden uh, takes it up in Emmerdale. Uh, and, but I can't, I can't imagine, you know, in Fletton, a dry stone well, wall. You never know. We've got a lovely guy called Jamie who's yeah. um, come down from Scotland and he's working up at the Green Backyard as a volunteer at the moment. Yeah. And he's going to be putting some dry stone walls in over there. And then round. Um, in Helpston, that kind of area, they oh, have yeah. a little dry stone wall, or, so maybe or you'll be able to get out or there. Or yeah. caster, as people yeah. caster call it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dry stone walls there. Is it, I mean, is it difficult to learn these skills? Yeah. No, not at all. We're, we're looking for people to do informal learning that's stuff for fun that they can go away, do themselves, and show other people. Um, I'm going to be showing people how to get rid of a tension headache. And everybody gets headaches and they're called tension headaches for reasons mm. and get rid of that tension. How do you do that? They're fine. Um, various massage techniques and oh lifestyle God. techniques. She's pretty popular in the office. Um, popular in the Stick office. Stick around. <laughs> Stick around. Tension. You're working with these reprobates. You know, I get ten <laughs> tension all day long, believe me. Uh, how many people have signed up then, Nari? Um, I think we've got, what, 30 teachers signed up already yeah. um, and quite a few inquiries from students. Um, courses are kicking off. Um, from the end of this week and the website will be up and live. It's up at the moment but it's not perfect yet. Um, so we're looking for people to test the website as well. And when do courses start, do you think? We've got some courses running in December. Um, as I say, I'm doing the, the headache course as a tester and um, Hugh's going to be doing geology course as a tester. This is Hugh Cripps. Yeah. There's our boss. Can and I give then, him a mention? Um, the man with a name for Halloween. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, the library's coming on board and letting us use their rooms and so on, and they're going to be running a green Christmas cards 
Oh, I knew I couldn't say Green that. Christmas, Christmas crafts. crafts. <laughs> <laughs> We've been practicing it. <laughs> for the morning. Green Christmas crafts course um, in December, but we want the bulk of the courses to be up and running from January. Right, okay. I, I think I might have a bash at stone, uh, dry stone wall. Hey, yeah, I ought yeah. to be good at that, really, and I've been really? from Yarch, yeah. Uh, well, listen, uh, good luck with it, and uh, if people do want to get uh, involved and do want to sign up for these courses now, what is the website address again? Greenuniversity.org.uk yeah, and uh, it sounds like fun. It sounds yeah, like fun. It I, I like the fact that the whole community is helping each other out. Yeah, well, it's really nice. Which is great. Uh, Nairi Ambarchian and Karen Lawrence from PECT. Uh, if you do want to get involved, we've got all the addresses. Uh, if you do want to be a teacher, if you think you've got a green skill that you can pass on to the greater Peterborough public, then uh, get in touch with us and we'll put you in uh, touch with the website. And uh, we can all help each other. What a great start to Monday morning. <laughs> eh? I, I, I feel empowered. I, I feel part of a community. It's almost like a little kid butts on the Peterborough Breakfast Show this morning. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Travel on Peterborough's 95.7 FM, BBC Radio Cambridgeshire.